Today's agenda consists of four points. We have an uh, overview of, of Viper architecture uh, with UIKit implementations, and then briefly about SwiftUI and again with uh, Viper architecture. Okay. So uh, first, let, let, let me ask you how many of you have heard about Viper architecture? Can I see hands? Okay, that's plenty enough. So did anyone have any chance to work with it on any projects? Okay. Uh, so I will start with Viper. Um, if any of you were on the previous presentation of previous um, Infinite talk, uh, we talked about it as well. And it's an acronym of View Interactor Presenter Entity Router. Uh, so I will talk about why we chose this architecture and uh, about uh, it. I will go into detail. So we needed uh, an architecture that would provide us um, easier maintenance or familiarity between code bases. Also, that uh, would be uh, we would uh, get a reusable code between uh, multiple projects, and uh, again, we need we needed uh, an architecture that provides uh, to us uh, to to provide us testing and to be easier. Uh, to make it testable, and at the end we wanted a clean, a clean code architecture that yields a clean code. So this is uh, one, an example of Viper um, module. Uh, we have all the letters from the acronym. Uh, there is one change in uh, the router, so we named. Name the route. We renamed the router to be Wireframe since it uh, suited our iOS development needs, and the other letters stayed the, uh, stayed the same. Uh, so now I will go over all of those and explain uh, the components. First off, we start with the view. Uh, the view uh, job is to present the data to the user, which it gets from the presenter and also uh, inform the presenter when we have a user interaction and then the presenter uh, will react accordingly. Next one, we have the wireframe. Uh, the wireframe is uh, basically uh, responsible for the navigation. And if you imagine uh, MVC architecture, uh, all the code that goes into the view controller for presenting uh, and handling segues, uh, pushing, popping view controllers uh, that now goes into the wireframe. So this uh, component has another important role and that's uh, the dependency injection. Uh, handling the dependency injection uh, because uh, this, this comes naturally because um, it's the entry, entry point for each uh, Vi uh, Viper module. And uh, I will show you later on uh, an example of, of uh, how the code looks, and uh, you will see that all the components are uh, done are, are initialized from this wireframe. So uh, if also if we put uh, like in the picture, if we put uh, multiple modules next to each other, they communicate through uh, through the wireframe. So next. I will talk about the interactor. We we will skip the presenter for now, but I will uh, get back at the end. Uh, and the interactor is um, the component that's responsible uh, and knows the for uh, for the existing of the entities. Uh, is the only only one that knows about it, about those um, components, and its job is to fetch the data and prepare it for the presenter, so uh, then uh, the presenter can uh, pass it along the module. OK, now let's talk about the entities. And those are on the uh, rightmost part of the diagram. Uh, the entities can be uh, any API calls or uh, that we use day to day or 
the um, any managers that we have inside the the project and uh, also some local storage or anything similar to that. So the entities are self-contained uh, pieces of code, which can be used uh, the, uh, when done pro uh, properly. They are uh, reusable and uh, each uh, module, Viper module can access them and use them. And also we can uh, also use them, them in, in other projects as well. Okay, so now we are back to the presenter and it sits uh, in the middle of the module. Uh, it's like a glue to, to the module and uh, its job, as I said, is to update the, the UA view. Uh, it's to uh, tell the wireframe where to navigate and uh, fetch, the, fetch the data from the interactor or request uh, update for, from it. And we have uh, this uh, valuable info that all the communication between the components goes through the protocols. Uh, the main idea is that we need like uh, greater security through development and also uh, I mentioned the testing of, of each module. So uh, by doing uh, this, we are able to, to test the, each component. So if we want to uh, test, for example, the view, and then we can simulate the, the pr uh, presenter or we can mock it. And uh, that's done uh, easily with, uh, by using protocols. And same goes for, for each, every component. So how we used uh, Viper with UIKit? Uh, there are two ways, uh, using uh, storyboards or XIPs. And the other one is uh, by programmatic UI. So the UI done in code. This is an example of uh, how one module looks like. Uh, for example, this login module, and we have a single storyboard for each module. Uh, that's that's the, the login file. Also, we have a file for each component. We have the presenter, view controller, uh, inter interactor, and the wireframe. And in the interfaces file goes all the protocols that I said, uh, that I mentioned before. Okay, so here is the example that I uh, mentioned before. Um, this is the, an example of login wireframe. Uh, we have uh, an example for the, using storyboards. Um, the, Initialization of the storyboard is uh, done by using the classic uh, instantiate view controller. And uh, we, we are uh, then after that, we are uh, creating the, the interactor. And uh, in the next line, we, we are creating the presenter passing uh, the reference for uh, the view control, uh, controller, uh, interactor and the wireframe itself. And at the end, we just uh, set the presenter uh, reference in the view controller uh, by, by the next line. So the other way of doing uh, Swift UI, uh, combining Swift, uh, sorry, UI kit with uh, Viper is by doing uh, with programmatic UI. Uh, everything is the same. We just don't have the, the storyboard. And uh, this is an example, how will the wireframe look, look then? Uh, we just have the classic init uh, method for the view controller and the rest is practically the same. Okay, so now uh, Tamara will continue and explain about the Swift UI part. Mm -hmm.